inaasahan na mas nadami pa ang maglalagak ng negosyo sa rehiyon ngayong nagpahayag na ng kahandaan ng Bangsamoro government na magbibigay ng tax holidays para sa mga interesadong mamumuhunan na foreign investors, kabilang na ang China. Sa pagbisita kasi nitong Merkulis ng delegado ng Chinese Consulate sa Bangsamoro Region, ay bitbit nito ang mga partners na Chinese businessmen na handang maglagak ng negosyo sa rehiyon. The region is open for business uh, and that the opportunities that we create because of the degree of autonomy that, that has been granted to us such as grant of incentives and tax holidays for companies coming into the region uh, should, should, should be exploited not just by other countries but also by China. And sa mga may agam-agam, sa mga usapin umano ng debt trap, environmental damage at usapin sa pagdagsa ng Chinese workers sa rehiyon at maiiwang dihado ang mga kababayan sa Bangsamoro Region, siniguro ng Chinese Consulate na hindi mangyayari. Una sa mga workers na dadagsa, maswerte ng 10% lang ang kanilang mga tauhan. At malinaw ay naghihikayat ito ng maraming trabahanting Pinoy, halimbawa na lang sa construction industry. At susunod din umuno sila sa panuntunan ng pangangalaga ng kalikasan dahil may Department of Environment and Natural Resources namang magbumonitor dapat. To work together so that some of the issues of concern can be settled, uh, including the environmental issue. There are ways of settling it, like relocating some of the reefs to other places. And actually, the, when... Feasibility studies were, were conducted uh, before the uh, groundbreaking. Uh, Philippine Environmental uh, Protection uh, NGOs and the, uh, the, the Department of uh, Environment and Resources, I think they, are, they have already uh, paid attention, noticed this and paid attention to this while designing the whole project. So uh, uh, we hope that uh, while we join our efforts, Malaki ang tiwala ng Bangsamoro Region sa pagsisikap ng nakarang administrasyong Duterte at kasalukuyang administrasyong Marcos Jr. na magandang partnership kasama ang China government. Ito'y sa kabila pa ng isyu na bumabalot sa relasyon ng dalawang bansa sa South China Sea at ng mga sovereign territory sa bansa ng Philippine Waters. I think both sides really pushed very hard. But, you know, there are difficulties during the whole process. Honestly speaking, uh, even after uh, the, uh, in the groundbreaking, which actually uh, uh, graced by President Bongo, Bongo Marcos and Vice President Sara Duterte, still uh, some families, uh, probably some Western countries will c criticize that, ah, uh, there is uh, that trap from the Chinese. <laughs> no, we need to strike the balance and also respect our mutual interest. And I'm happy that uh, the, our colleagues from China is looking at areas of cooperation uh, between our region and that of the People's Republic of China. And as China uh, implements its China Built and Road Initiative globally, uh, it will have impact in the region. And I'm happy that our president, from President Duterte all the way to the current president, has been very strategic in uh, its foreign policy by looking at Uh, China as a potential partner in development. Uh, many of this initiative... Isa sa proposal ng China sa mga investments nila sa rehiyon ay ang pagkakaroon ng local production ng mga automotive spare parts na dito nagagawin sa rehiyon maging ang pagpapalakas ng telco industry kung saan may malaking plano ang Huawei company at maraming industry players na iba. Kasama si Donna Labajo, ako si Gia Valdez, ng Kotang Batu News.